Okay, so tonight I'm going to make a vegan chili and the um, ingredients I am kind of following a recipe off of um, fatfreevegan.com, so I'll include a link to her original recipe in the um, about section of this video. But basically, um, it has black-eyed peas, corn, vegetable broth, um, two cans of organic diced tomatoes, red, green peppers. I don't think she uses yellow. No, she doesn't. But this is what I had available. I didn't want to go to the grocery store. Uh, the equivalent of two large onions chopped, and these um, are frozen onions that I chopped a long time ago, and uh, garlic and quinoa. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to get started. Okay, you first want to start cooking the onions, and I've had these cooking for a couple minutes, and then you're going to add the peppers. These peppers, um, are from Trader Joe's, but I believe that you can get them in almost any grocery store. So um, since they're frozen, we're just gonna kinda let them steam, get the steam off of the ice bits and let those cook down for until they're a little bit softened. Okay, so once that is looking gorgeous and softened, if you will, then you wanna add um, about six cloves of garlic and since I have the jar that's already minced and stuff um, I just put what I think would be equivalent to six cloves and maybe a little bit more because I love garlic okay once you have the garlic in there and it's been cooking for about a minute then you want to add a lot of the other ingredients so um I've got the black eyed peas and the um, black beans there. Fat Free Vegan's recipe does not call for black beans, but um, I thought it would be a fun twist. And then we're going to add um, the chili seasoning. I had a packet of chili seasoning from Williams. Williams is a Kansas City company, and I live in Kansas City, so um, I'm going to support them. And then um, add some organic diced tomatoes. Fat Free Vegan says that fire roasted tomatoes is the best way to go, um, but I didn't have those. And then some uh, vegetable broth. And Fat Free Vegan, had, um, she does different, um, whatchamacallit, different spices. She doesn't use a, one spice packet. Okay, as you can tell, it comes together rather quickly, and um, it's beautiful. Lots of different colors. I ended up adding up another can of um, black-eyed peas because it wasn't thick enough for me. And um, and then lastly, we're gonna once this comes to boil, then we're gonna reduce it to a simmer and add the um, corn and quinoa. Sure, you could add, you know, brown rice or whatever other whole grain you have available. I don't think it necessarily needs to be quinoa. Okay, now that we're at a boiling point with the chili, I'm going to add quinoa. Um, my frozen corn was too old. I hadn't checked the expiration date on it. So, um, I'm not going to use that. So, um... I'm adding a cup of quinoa because I have a lot of liquid in here and I don't like a lot of liquid in my chili. I don't want it to be a soup. I want it to be more of a stew. So the quinoa, I hope, will absorb that extra liquid and that's why I'm adding additional amount of it. And then um, we're gonna let that, I'm gonna bring it down to simmer and let the quinoa absorb all those um, yummy juices might add a little bit more quinoa too and then um i'll show you what it looks like after about i think i'm going to give it 10 15 minutes um and see where it is after that put a lid on it all right so the quinoa has been in there for i think like 15 minutes or so so you can see how it's starting to absorb the juices and whatnot. So I might give it another five minutes. 
and then um, we will scoop it out into a bowl and have it for dinner. Okay, so I think we're all ready to go. Um, I also was thinking that I should mention that, you know, any chili that you make, it's best to um, wait, you know, let it, uh, oh gosh, I can't even talk. Um, make the chili, put it in the refrigerator overnight, let all the, you know, the beans and the quinoa and the veggies absorb all of that spicy goodness and then the next day heat it up again and it will be awesome. I just um, am hungry, don't have anything else to eat right now, so I'm gonna eat this, but tomorrow this will be just, um, it'll be even better. Okay, it's all served up and ready to go. As you can see, I put some avocado on top. I've got a link on my channel, or I've got a YouTube video of how to cut up uh, an avocado, so I'll include a link in that to that in the about section of this video if you want to check that out. And then those little um, chips are just these Benito's nacho cheese chips that are made from white beans. And um, I just, I've, I've gotten into these Benito's because um, they were on sale. There was a black bean version, I think Chipotle black bean, um, that was delicious. So I just bought these because they were on sale to see how they would taste. And um, they are awesome as well. Uh, obviously, they're not vegan, so if you're vegan, don't buy these, but buy whatever version of a nacho cheese chip that they make for vegans. So that is it. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. We appreciate your support, and if you like learning about um, recipes like this, please subscribe to our channel where we feature recipes like this quite often. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.